three, two, one. Hi, I'm the Casual Spaceman and welcome to my channel once again. Well, about an hour or so after I covered the live stream of the uh, Boeing Starliner um, orbital flight test, um, I got notified from a friend of mine that there was uh, some breaking news of what happened with the test and it seemed to have gone a little bit wrong. And it pointed me to an article on, on space.com and as you can see from the title, Boeing Starliner won't reach space station, according to NASA chief says. So, uh, I'll go on to read a little bit for you first of all. Uh, Cape Canaveral, Florida, Boeing Starliner astronaut taxi suffered an, uh, an, an anomaly today on the 20th of December during its flight to the International Space Station during the orbital flight test mission. About 90 minutes after blast off, NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstine said on Twitter that the capsule would not be enabled to reach the space station because it burned too much fuel during the anomaly. The uh, Atlas V rocket for United Launch Alliance successfully launched from uh, Space Launch Complex 41 at Cape Canaveral um, at 6.36 as planned. And yes, uh, as I streamed the, uh, the launch, everything seemed to be absolutely fine and there was no indication there was any problems at this stage. Um, and as I said, it was about an hour or so after that that um, I was informed what actually happened. Um, but as of about an hour after launch, the mission team had announced an anomaly with the uncrewed capsule's orbit. Uh, and Jim Bridenstine, the tweet said, uh, Stylon is in stable orbit, the burn needed for a rendezvous with the ISS did not happen, working the issue. Um, but before I started to make this video, I uh, got notification that there was going to be a NASA press conference. Uh, I'll put a link to that press conference in the description below this video, and you can go and watch it at your leisure, and you can see a little bit more detail what happened. So what they actually announced here during the press conference, two things that actually uh, seemed to come up was, one, first of all, was they seemed to lose communication with uh, the spacecraft, uh, which uh, it was the, so then they weren't able to actually send the command to the spacecraft to do the burn to get into the right orbit to rendezvous with the uh, ISS. And also there seemed to be an issue with the mission clock aboard the spacecraft, um, which seemed to cause the computer aboard the uh, Starliner as to exactly what mood, mode it was supposed to be on and apparently did the wrong kind of burn and burned up too much fuel. Um, so they made the decision that they would abandon this particular mission um, and not dock with the ISS uh, because they felt that there possibly wasn't any fuel left um, and they might not have been able to recover the uh, spacecraft. Now the uh, Starliner does have its own propulsion system and what they are now planning to do is they have confirmed they definitely will not be docking with the ISS. That is not an option at this stage. Um, they're going to do a couple of short burns to get them into a right kind of orbit and, and then sometime on this Sunday they will be uh, landing the spacecraft, deorbiting and land the spacecraft at White Sands as already planned. Um, obviously um, a whole lot earlier. Uh, so that's what we stand, how we stand at the moment. So I've gone to read this article a little bit more about it for you. Um, about 15 minutes after launch, Starliner was scheduled to complete a 40 second orbital insertion burn that would have uh, evened out its orbit to a circle, uh, allowing it to meet up with the space station. But this stage in flight was off nominal or different from what they expected. We have since experienced an off normal insertion and the spacecraft is in a stable position, Boeing spokesman Steve uh, Sisloff said during a launch broadcast. It's fully powered. Uh, Mission Control here in Houston is assessing all the options. Um, now, what it would appear that um, that during this all these issues that uh, the if there was a crew on board, they weren't in any particular danger. Uh, and it's also quite possible because they did indicate during the press conference that Starliner does have manual capabilities. So it's quite possible that the if there were astronauts aboard, they could have actually uh, enabled the um, burn manually, reset the computers and, and enable the uh, burn to happen manually, in which case they could very well have actually saved the mission. Um, and everything else aboard the spacecraft, um, it seems absolutely fine. Everything seems to be working perfectly normally. Um, so again, um, I have no reason not to believe what NASA are actually telling me at this, uh, telling us at this stage. Um, 
So I'll go on to read a little bit more. Um, well, let's just confirm what it said there before. The spacecraft is, is currently in a safe, stable configuration, Kaplan added. The flight controllers have completed a successful burn and are assessing the next steps. Boeing and NASA are working together to review options for the test and mission opportunities available while the Styler remains in orbit. A joint news conference will be held at 9 a.m. Eastern on NASA, uh, NASA TV. Well, that was actually at 9.30 Eastern or um, 2.30 hour time. Uh, the FT was designed as a critical milestone to test style on a few future crewed missions. Uh, following this procedure, Boeing plans to launch crewed flight tests with three astronauts on board the Starliner. Well, in terms of the future for Starliner at the moment, um, I mean, certainly Starliner will be eventually uh, will be eventually human rated. However, um, it's unclear at this stage just exactly what's going to happen now. Um, Jim Bridenstine and the rest of the panel during the conference were very not very committed to actually making a decision whether they're going to need to repeat this test or not um, th um, it's th at this stage. If they have to repeat the test, well, that could very well put Starliner back even further, many, many more months behind uh, SpaceX Dragon, uh, Dragon Crew Dragon uh, spacecraft, um, which is getting close to actually uh, completing all their tests, including uh, a launch abort test um, early in February. Uh, Starliner are all, already further behind SpaceX, um, so which case that could be put them back even further, uh, which could make but get into a position where uh, SpaceX could be taking up the slack for sending astronauts uh, to the space station. But again, we don't know. They're not making any decisions at this stage. But what they could do is they could realise perhaps that this is an issue that could easily be fixed. Uh, they could very well be happy with the fact that if there was crew aboard, they will have actually been able to sort the problem out um, and actually save the mission. In which case, then then they could carry on and be went on schedule but uh, we're not really going to find out really until in the until the next coming weeks or months um, but no decisions are being made about that at this stage um, they'll have to look at the data and um, you know find out exactly what's been going on and what they plan to do uh, in the immediate future um, so when anything changes or when I hear more, um, I'll certainly let you guys know. Just a reminder, the uh, link to the uh, to the press conference will be in the description below this video. Uh, and also I'll put a link to the live stream of the actual launch itself in the description below as well. Okay, so that's all from me, um, the Casual Spaceman. For now, signing out.